Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time to eat, sleep, hunt, repeat. Yes, talk about a Monster Hunter game. Yeah, I got really into Monster Hunter World. I put over 500 hours into that game, not really expecting to like it at all. I just got addicted, and my girlfriend just got me this shirt and this game for the Nintendo Switch for me to play. Monster Hunter Stories 2. So I've never played a Monster Hunter Stories game. I don't know what type of game it is. I don't even, I've not even seen this trailer. I know nothing about this game. Character creator. So okay, so we'll start this off with a character creator. Let's start off with the dude first and see what we got right here. So we got some three different facial styles. We're gonna go a little chubby, a little chubby cheeks right here. Then we'll go skin tone. A little darker. I think right around here looks pretty good. Hairstyles. So hairstyles, and we could change our hair piece right here. We'll leave the hair piece on. We'll take a look at them. Okay, this is kind of like if you're like an Islander look. I think I'm kind of digging this right here, this kind of spiky look. You would need a whole lot of gel or this one right here. So these spiky looks I'm digging right now. Ooh, the corn rolls, the braids are nice too. Oh, uh, okay. I like these spikes even better. So I think we're gonna go probably with those spikes. But oh, bald. Hmm, let's see what else we got around here. Afro, Afro Thunder. Let's take off the hairpiece. I think we're gonna have to go with the spiky look right here. All right, we're gonna go with this one. Colors. So you have two colors. Oh my God. That is some neon bright colored ass here. I wasn't expecting anything like this. Okay, okay. Is this like Pokemon with the colorful hair? Is this anime? Like, is Monster Hunter Stories to an anime style game? I don't know. I don't. I, I've never played a Monster Hunter Stories spin off game. As much as I played World, I have not looked too deep into the Monster Hunter series outside of World. So I am not the expert on the lore of everything Monster Hunter. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna go. We're gonna go out there. We're gonna kick on the bright colored hair. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, we're gonna go crazy. I usually make more down to earth characters, and that's what I was gonna go for originally. But yeah, we're gonna go for it. Red and neon green hair. Let's do it. Let's see for eyes. Standard eyes. Then we got the bright expression. Hello. Okay, this is straightly like some evil villain type look. I don't know why this model is just reminding me of a Pokemon trainer or like a bad guy. Okay. We got some Twilight Star eyes and I'm liking them. I'm liking them. This is kind of fun, like a nice mature look. Let's see what else they have out there, but I'm probably going to go with this one right here. Got some like uh, goofy eyes. Chill, what's up, bro? Surprised. Aww. Serious looking eyes. Surprise kind of for me. Chill eyes right there. The anime style. The just the the blackness, the dark blackness in his soul. Put on the hair piece. Eye closed. The bro the Brock look. That was the, that's what the one I'll call right there, the Brock. But now nah, we're gonna go with these twilight you could change both or one let's change uh each one. Ooh, the red let's just see if we put it red and green and see what it would look like oh my god ah i don't know what about this but this kind of you know, get that itchy weird feeling on your skin this freaks me out i don't know what's it about the hair color combine with these two eye colors and the twinkleness this is just this is icky. This looks wrong. This just feels evil. I don't know how else to explain it. It's so wrong. No, we, we can't do that one. We'll change both and leave it one solid color. Okay, that I'm like that. I like that kind of red to purplish hue. It doesn't match the rest of the, the hair, but who cares? Nothing else really has matched so far. So we're going to go kind of for a crazy character for now. We've got a simple smile. Up in an angle, simple again, little wiggle smile, large lips, that's not bad, buck tooth, 
Yeah, it is 3D, so there is a tooth there. Then we got another, another big smile. I'm gonna turn down my headset because the music is in my ear is so loud. So hopefully I wasn't talking too loud for you guys, but the game audio is really loud for me. So there we go, that's a lot better. Then we got ourselves a big old smile right here. Oh, and I got a big wide smile. I like this one, across the face. We'll go with that. Oh wait, did, wait, did I click the right one? Hold on. Oh crap. So this is what happens when you've been playing the Xbox controllers and PlayStation controllers. You're messing up with the damn button layout. We'll go with this one right here. Then we're gonna go with makeup. So let's see if there's anything. I don't want to get something. Too, okay, well the lightning bolt's not bad. I don't want to get anything that distracts from the hair because I think the hair is the masterpiece here. Clearly, clearly I'm a hair designer. Like you know, don't worry about it, ladies. If you need your hair done, I got the colors and combos for you. All the guys are gonna go for you. Come on, come on, just come to me, come to Beaky. I'll design your hair. You're gonna look fabulous. Trust me, trust me. I'll put it in some. Let's go. Let's go with some neon green. Throw in some dashes of red. You're gonna be the talk of the town. Maybe not for the good reasons, but you'll be the talk of the town. I'll get you attention. <laughs> All joking aside, yeah, I don't want anything too expressive. I think I'll just take the little freckles. We'll put the freckles. We'll change the colors to match the eye color a little bit. It's not very defined, but that's what I want. I want this hair and eyes to be the standout feature of this guy. Voices. Let's hear them. Say it. Say it. Yeah. Oh, let's hear the other ones. See, I keep messing up on the buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. 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 Show head armor again. And I remember when I went back, there was uh on that first screen there was like uh, a view actions. Let's see what that does. Okay, so we got that little walking animation right here. It's pretty cool. Running animation. Yo, those eyes and hair just stand out so much. But it looks like we can make a female character. So yeah, this video definitely will be the character creation portion. And if you guys enjoy this, I will try to make some more. Give my thoughts on this game. Like, my girl did get it from me. So shout out to you, Jack, for that. Let's see what my lady over here could do. Simple walking animation. And she has a running animation. Oh, wait. Now that I think about it, do you, like... Do you get to play with weapons? Like, is it like insect glaives, hammer? I have no, I have no clue how the gameplay works in this game. I, I, I don't even know. Like, I'm guessing it probably won't be. You get weapons in like Monster Hunter Rise or Monster of the World. It's probably something different. And I don't even have Monster Hunter Rise. I actually do need to probably eventually get that. Oh, I can customize her as well. Let's do that. Ha! Ah, she's like powering up, <laughs> pan. I don't know why I have Dragon Ball Z on my mind. Ooh. This sounds a little more deep, like, yeah. She can take it. She can fuck shit up. If, if you actually fight monsters. I don't know. Let's take off the headpiece and see what that looks like. Uh, which button is that? Oh, I can change expressions! Oh, I didn't know that for the other guy. Oh, that's funny. Okay. That's good. Oh, I should have tried it on my dude with the crazy eyes. So we're definitely gonna have to do that after a while. So we went a little, a little more uh, out there with that guy's um, character design. So we'll probably try to do that as well here, at least a little bit. For her, let's do some facial tattoos or something. But we went crazy with the guys here, so let's try to do at least a little different, and then we'll see which one we actually want to play with. I like those dragon swirls. Yeah, we'll go with the dragon swirls. Try not to use the same color, so we'll try to use some deeper... Yeah, I like this right here. I couldn't tell you what color to call that right now. I'd probably be wrong if I try to name that color, so I'm, not, I'm just not going to. So we're going backwards this time because we clicked on her. I like these big, wide smiles. I don't know what's up with that. But now we get to see what they look like with different faces. That's actually really interesting. I really should have did that before. It would have helped uh, with the character creation a lot more. Oh, I'm so bored or sad. Surprise. Oh. <laughs> cute. That's a very cute smile. Yeah. Mm. She's not happy. Not happy at all. 
just done with the situation. This is what my girl looks at me when I just say something stupid like, okay, I'm about to hit you. <laughs> Joking. Uh, oh, she has a little lip right, like a little, oh, it's actually in 3D. Whoa, that, that sun model on your face when you turn it, the light. They have some like spotlight coming from the right side of the screen, blinding the character. Yikes. The tooth! I think that's kind of funny. I might go with the one tooth hanging out. Hmm. Huh? Ah. Yeah, this is just this, that was something I really go with. A little bit of lipstick on this one. A little nice smile. I don't know why this gives me like a teacher vibe. I think this reminds me of, I can't remember the character's name right this moment, but on uh, the game is a Tales game, Tales of Symphonia, the teacher who's in the party member, she has gray hair and her brother's part of the party too. I don't know why the smile just reminds me of her, the nice smile, trying to lead everybody, not lead, but she wasn't the main character, but it's not her name, but really good game. Play Tales of Symphonia if you never played. I'm going with this. I think this is cute and just different. Not something I normally would go with, so that's what we're going with here. Eye color and eye type. Oh god, this is gonna be. Because last time it was a hair that defined the look. Now we're going backwards, so it's like a different process here. Wow, bulging eyes. <laughs> she looks like. I don't know why I'm thinking like kind of angry. Orcish type drawing right now, but that's what I get from those eyebrows. Maybe I've been playing and thinking about D&D too much If you're not into D&D definitely check that out. There is some game called Solus or so something with an S I'll probably have a video on it at some point that I found out that's on game pass and the game is like 30 something dollars So I was like, oh the game 30 something dollars and you probably could get a month of game pass for free So I'm like, well, wouldn't it make more sense if we just subscribe to game pass for $15 or $10 on PC whatever the hell it is and get the month free and get to play the game for at least a month, try it out, see if I like it, rather than buy the game with $30 on Steam and then what if I don't like the game, then I have to refund it. I've only ever refunded one game on Steam. Um, it was a game that's critically acclaimed too. Thumper. Thumper VR. I really, and I like music games, and I could not get into Thumper. If you know what Thumper is, look up a trailer. You might like the game. A lot of people love it, but for a music fan, I just couldn't feel it. A little hearts in your eyes. Honestly, I'm not really feeling all that much with this one. I think I like this one. Just kind of a... Uh... Yeah, I think I'll take this one. Smile is subtle, the eyes, it's, it's different than I would do. Well, this one will go with different eye colors. Try to match it with her, uh, the thing I put on her side of her eyes. Oh, that's a little too dark. Let's put that one for one. Just slightly off from each other, not something too drastic. Yeah. It's different, but not out there. So I guess you could say this one's a little bit more subtle. And I think I want to change the color first. I want to go with like a, black, a dark base. So I guess I gotta go down here. Ooh, I, I kind of got a sinister vibe going right now. I like it. What if the headpiece is on? Okay, the headpiece messed that all up. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of like a low-key sinner survive. Alright, let's just check out some stuff. Okay, okay. I don't know what kind of haircut this is called, but I like it. So this one I like already. This one is kind of... Mm, Star Wars reminds me of. I know it's not the same design. This is something I would see from like a villain in Pokemon. I keep mentioning Pokemon in this, but, you know, over the decades, I've played a lot of Pokemon games. It just ha ends up happening as you grow up with that as a child. You know, like, G GBA games, the, you know, Game Boy Advance games. I've played a lot of Pokemon throughout the, the generations. I miss those colorful consoles. Small, fit in your pocket, take with you. 
The Switch is just big enough that I don't always like bring it with me. Like I don't bring it to work um, or anything like that. I even had an opportunity today where I could have brought it with me to drop some family member off and I just like, ah, leave it. I just have my phone. Oh, wait. Is the Switch OLD's battery any better now that I think about it randomly? Okay, we are rocking glasses. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot better. Something different than the guy, because I don't know if I sold glasses on the guy. Okay, change color. Um, color 2. What's... Color 2 is the glasses color. Okay. Let's give her something standing out. A contrast to everything else. I kind of like the darkness in her the face, but I think combining that with like kind of a brighter glasses. I'm thinking either the bright blue or this yellow. I think the blue would stand out a little better. I think I like the blue a little better just because I think she has a blue dress on right now. So it kind of just matches that, but I'm sure that's going to change during the game. I have no clue what this game is about, like I said before, so I have no clue if changing how you look matters at all. But yeah, this is what happens when you um, you give me a game with a character creator. I, I spend a little too more time in it, even if it doesn't matter. I did it in Cyberpunk. Spent too much time messing around with that. Now, we're not going to go crazy here. I think I think I'll take a stay of the black. I think the black... Here, it's a very simple hairstyle, but I think because it has the glasses. I wish I could have the glasses and then put it on another hairstyle. If there is a way to do that, I don't know. And I mean, you can save presets, so I'm guessing they're expecting you to change the stuff a lot. So now we can go do skin color. I've been rocking with her like this for this most of the time. I think I'm going to go with this. No, actually, let's see. Oh, we can't. I was about to say, can I do like a crazy color? Like, can I go be a purple girl? Or like some, uh... <laughs> like an orcish color or something like that. I want to go with like a little sunburn. Like she's a, uh, if we're doing hunting, she's off in the sun a little bit. She has natural resistance. Let's say, I won't say that she's, uh, you know, getting super skinned up or something like that, you know, like with the sun rays, but it definitely shows that she's in the sun. So I think a little sunburn right there. A little Islander. Oh, yeah, Islander. There you go. All right, face type. Not chubby for this one. We'll go with the little one slender right there. And yeah, I think that's everything. And then this is default name, and I can press OK. But I think you guys will have to wait. Let me see. I press B. Literally, I'm looking at the controller. This is what Xbox, Sony, and <laughs> PlayStation has done to me. I'm looking at the damn controller to see what buttons I have to press. I'm so used to holding the switch like this. I so rarely play my switch docked, as you guys should fully well know that. Yeah, it's not my normal thing. So which one uh, will I be playing with? You guys make your guess in the comment section below. Come on, if you watch this video, take two seconds and guess which one will I be playing. I'm going to play the wide-eyed, uh, crazy here I dude. Or will I change it up and play a female character, which I don't always play with character creators. At least in the games I play on the channel much. Just get my little dark-eyed, a little... A little goth kind of feel, a little maniacal evil, while he might be the little goody two shoe. Like, yeah, guys, we can do it. She's like, I got this. I got this. You, I got this. Which one do you guys think I'm gonna play with? And till next time, leave your comments, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, and I'll be back with more Monster Hunter for you guys very soon. Later.